In a Chapter 1 classroom example, we looked at a function to calculate the cost to purchase custom printed lunch coolers for a school staff. C of L is equal to 45 plus 3L, where C of L is the total cost in dollars for purchasing L lunch coolers. Part A. What are the input and output variables for this function? The input variable is L and that represents the number of lunch coolers. I purchased. The output is C or C of L and that represents the total cost in dollars for purchasing the coolers. Part B asks for us to find the inverse of the function. All right, so to find an inverse of a function, it's a three-step process. Actually, Actually, four steps. First, drop the function notation. All right, so I'll just write this as C equals 45 plus 3L. So notice that the equation is, in a sense, solved for C. So step two says, let's solve for the other variable. In this case, that's L. So to solve for L, I will subtract 45 from both sides. So C minus 45 is equal to 3L. And I'll divide by 3. And so I can write that as C over 3 minus 45 over 3 is equal to L, or 1 third C minus 15 is equal to L. All and the third step, I know I said four earlier, that was an error, the third step is to rewrite using function notation. And we'll now write this as L of C. So L of C is equal to 1 third C minus 15. What are the input and output variables for the inverse? All right, so for the inverse, the input is C, which was the total cost in dollars and the output is L or L of C, which is the number of lunch boxes purchased. All right, part D, find the cost to purchase 60 lunch coolers. So if we have 60 lunch coolers, that implies that L is equal to 60. So now if we want to find the cost, generally what we do is we would substitute L in the original function. So we would have C of 60 would be 45 plus 3L, so 3 times 60, and so that would be 45 plus 180, which is 225. So it will cost 225 dollars 
to purchase 60 coolers. Part E, find the number of lunch coolers you can purchase with a budget of $300. So now in the past what we would have done is we would have substituted 300 for C of L and solved for L. But since we have an inverse function, we can just say, well, this implies that C is equal to 300, and we can substitute C in the inverse. So we'd have L of 300 is equal to one-third of 300 minus 15, and so that's 100 minus 15, which is 85. So our conclusion there is for 85, I'm sorry, for $300, you can purchase 85 lunch, uh, lunch boxes. At coolers. I don't know why I said lunch boxes. 85 coolers. Earlier I wrote lunch boxes, it should be coolers.